What's up, everyone? My name is Armo, the proud founder of Play Life 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 The number one website in this planet for helping many people just like you overcome any obstacle and get any single goal that they want. Whatever you want, the Play Life Life has a solution to every single one of your problems or any single problem at all. Now, today's topic is on three habits that will change your life. Number one is affirmation. Affirmations are statements that go inside your subconscious mind. They go inside your subconscious mind and they allow you to attract and create the things that you want more of. And they work by changing your belief. They work by retraining your brain to think differently. It's a way of brain entrainment or brain retraining. You're retraining your brain to think differently. You're doing positive thinking. You're affirming these statements that you want more of in your life. So for example, let's take the statement, I'm good enough, I have enough money in the bank, I'm smart enough. If you believe those things, then you will do those things as if you were those things. So most people have limiting beliefs such as I suck, or I'm not smart enough, or I look ugly or something, and this creates unconscious patterns inside their inside their lives, inside their reality, because these beliefs, they believe it, and it becomes true. It becomes a true statement inside their, in their reality. Another way that you can counteract this is simply by doing affirmations in the morning. First thing in the morning, it's kind of like a warm-up, a prep-up. You can do one minute to five minutes real quick. I have my little affirmation routine that I do to kind of just warm myself, up, warm up myself up in the morning and just get myself thinking in terms of positive, in the positive way, because it is through the positive way that we attract the things that we want. So I have like a, I have on index cards, seven index cards with statements of affirmations that I want to do, and they're based on the chakra system, they're based on the Kulini system, and I use those in this cards, and I just speak the phrases. They're almost like magic words. You say these words, and they become beliefs, and then slowly, little by little, gradually, they help you become those statements. You become those things. They become a part of your being. So you start to just live out those statements as if they were true because they become true. And then, number two here is prayer. Now I know many of you guys have these ideas of prayer, and oh my god, this music completely threw me off. So I'm like, I'm like, oh my god. Alright, anyways, prayer. <laughs> prayer, you pray first thing in the morning, right? And when you pray, you believe that your prayer comes true. And that's what you do. You pray, you believe that it becomes true, and it'll be true. There's a, um, I know you guys, some of you guys may not be spiritual or biblical, but prayer is not a spiritual or biblical thing. It's just, it's just another tool to kind of help you manifest your desires by affirming what it is that you want, by being grateful, and whatever else you want, however way else you want to pray. So you can do like a quick prayer and say, uh, thank you universe for guiding me in my life. I'm very grateful for everything and all the opportunities that you sent my way. I'm very thankful for that. And another thing that you can do is just simply just do that daily. And what you do is that you affirm that daily in your life and that becomes, again, another thing to help you manifest. So affirmations and prayer work very similarly, just that prayer is much better because when you do this on a conscious level, prayer works better by bypassing by the conscious mind. Affirmations, like when you're doing them like verbally, can be a little ineffective in some sense, but they still work, as I said, they don't work as well as prayer when you're speaking it out loud. Now the affirmations in these videos, these work by passing your conscious mind, so they will absolutely work, and they're incorporated with theta technology that will bring you in a drowsy state, and these affirmation statements will slip right into your subconscious mind, and then you'll have these beliefs added into your mind and body system, and therefore you will start to act out those beliefs as if they were true, because they become true. So 
prayer is another way of manifesting, helping you manifest whatever goal that you want. And it's another way of kind of like, um, it's like chanting, but it's in a slightly different form. It's in a slightly different form, right? It's like all these things, they all work. Writing works, prayer works, affirmations work. And it's all about kind of finding the right things that you feel most comfortable with you, that works most effectively for you. So what I found the easiest thing to do in the morning is just affirmations and prayer. Affirmations and prayer, they they just get you in that positive flow, they get you in this positive state, they get you thinking positively, and they get you in the positive vibration, positive state. Now the last one, which is probably the most important one, is visualization. I made a, another video recently called The Secret Power of Your Imagination and Faith. And when you visualize, you allow you it's like you're drawing forth those imagery into your reality. You're creating your your reality inside your mind. The best way to create it is to power it up through emotion. Because the universe is more of a feeling than it is about logic, but again, in order to communicate with the universe or God or higher power, we do this by with words, with imagery and feelings. So words, imagery, and feelings. That's why I put it as affirmations, prayer, and visualization. This is because it hits all those things. It covers all grounds. So even if one of them is not working, you have another way to attacking the subconscious so that it bypasses the conscious and turns into basically just kind of successfully making sure that it penetrates. And it will penetrate because these three tackle one aspect of the subconscious mind in one way or another. So by adding this into your life, you'll be able to, uh, I guess you could say, rewire or reprogram your way of thinking, your belief system, and these things will activate the law of attraction for you and accelerate the law of attraction for you. Therefore, that you will attract those things that you want more of in your life. And you will also kind of repel the things that are not congruent with your belief system. The law of attraction is famous for declaring like attracts like. And these are things to help you bring you up in state, to bring you up in vibration, to bring you up in, in consciousness, so that you become the like of that which you are trying to attract. And imagination is one of the most powerful tools for that. You want to imagine the things that you want in your life. Do this for like 5 to 30 minutes daily. You meditate and you imagine. They go hand in hand. You can meditate without imagining or you can meditate and imagine at the same time. So imagination is one tool to creating your reality in your mind this way that you attract the things that you want. And the important thing is to get yourself in that feeling. The feeling, get yourself in that feeling of having it right now. Imagine that if you had it right now, you would feel X, Y, Z, you would feel better. You feel, get in that state of feeling that, whatever it is that you want to feel more of. All right guys, this has been Jerome from the Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.